Most of you know that whey protein is the way to go for building muscle. But what exactly is whey hydrolysis? Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Lockwood, owner and CEO of AP Nutrition. Here to provide you the science-based intel about supplements you're most interested in. Today's lesson concerns whey hydrolysis, a hot topic in the muscle building world. Milk is composed of two major protein types, whey and casein. In human milk, whey makes up approximately 90% of the protein during early lactation, and then it levels out to about a 60-40 and 50-50 ratio of whey to casein in mature and late lactation, respectively. Contrast that to cow's milk, which contains only 20% of its protein from whey, with the remaining 80% coming from casein. These facts raise two important points. One, the emphasis of whey protein in human milk speaks to its role in supporting rapid development and a strong immune system. And two, the abundance of casein protein in cow's milk seems to explain the great majority of the allergies associated with consuming dairy products. After cow's milk is pasteurized and other processing takes place, the whey and casein can be separated by a couple different means. Sweet whey, which only contains about 30 to 40 percent of its content as protein, is the most basic form of food grade whey. The remaining 60 to 70 percent of sweet whey is predominantly lactose, sugar, and fat. Filtration and other purification processes concentrate the whey to provide higher amounts of protein and yield fewer carbs and fat. These are called whey protein concentrates, or WPC. However, a whey that's 90% or higher in total protein is referred to as a whey protein isolate, or a WPI. Regardless of the level of concentrate or isolate, all of these forms of whey are still composed of extremely large peptide structures. To reduce their size, enzymes in your digestive system have to break the bonds between select amino acid sequences to yield smaller peptides that your body can actually utilize. To speed up that process, whey manufacturers can pre-digest the protein to create whey protein hydrolysis, or WPH. A couple things to keep in mind with a hydrolysis, though, is that it can be created from a sweet whey all the way up to an isolate. Also, the enzymes and reaction conditions used, as well as the number of available bonds that are broken, dictate the final composition of the hydrolysis. The greater the degree of hydrolysis, or the DH, the smaller the number of amino acids per peptide, and the more bitter tasting. So hydrolysis can vary a lot more than concentrates or isolates. Whey hydrolysis is great for anyone looking for a high quality protein source capable of helping them achieve their total daily protein goals and maximize muscle growth. Additionally, because of its significant effects on insulin and satiety, a hydrolysis is a great protein source for post-workout supplements or anyone looking to increase muscle mass while reducing body fat. Whey protein is ideal for stimulating muscle growth, having been demonstrated to provide the greatest anabolic response to weight training versus other protein sources such as casein or soy. This may be because whey contains 30 to 50 percent more of the amino acid leucine, the essential and branch chain amino acid responsible for stimulating muscle protein synthesis. In fact, whey has been shown to elicit up to 122 percent and 31 percent greater muscle protein synthesis response to exercise than either casein or soy, respectively. This may have to do with the fact that whey is very bioavailable and rapidly digested, causing a fast and large spike in blood amino acid levels after consumption. The faster the rise in blood amino acids, the greater the peak in total muscle protein synthesis response. In that regard, whey offers the most bang for your protein buck. Additionally, whey protein has been demonstrated to improve exercise recovery and immune function, as well as increase thermogenesis, improve fat loss, and reduce hunger. So not only is whey great for building muscle, it also is a powerful fat-fighting fuel. Whey protein hydrolysis has been suggested to augment the beneficial effects of whey due to its ability to increase plasma amino acid levels faster and to a greater peak concentration than normal whey. Although studies in humans have not shown these differences to be statistically significant, the blood amino acid response to hydrolysis versus whey seem promising. For example, my dissertation work revealed that those consuming 30 grams of whey hydrolysis versus native whey twice per day significantly increased muscle mass or reduced body fat without significantly affecting total body weight. Paradoxically, while the rapid spike in blood amino acids from hydrolysis is beneficial for stimulating protein synthesis, it also increases amino acid oxidation, that is, the breakdown of amino acids for energy. Now, some people consider this increased oxidation a waste of amino acid. 
but that's a simplistic view of protein metabolism. Just because these amino acids are used for energy, rather than being used for protein synthesis, they're not wasted. Whey is still more anabolic when compared to other protein sources that don't cause a large increase in amino acid oxidation. So it's hard to call that a downside. Another potential downside, if you want to call it that, is that whey protein hydrolysis generally costs significantly more than normal whey protein. The greater the degree of hydrolysis, the greater the cost. So as a customer, you'll have to weigh the potential benefits against the increased cost. How much hydrolysis to consume depends on a number of factors, such as weight, total protein intake, and whether you're consuming it alone or with other protein sources. Since whey hydrolysis is rich in leucine, you don't need to consume as much of it to maximize muscle growth as you would from other protein sources. For example, for a 200 pound male looking to increase muscle mass, I'd recommend approximately 25 grams to 35 grams of whey hydrolysis immediately post-workout or in place of your current protein supplement. In contrast, achieving that same effect with a chicken breast might take upwards of 45 grams. As you pursue your physique goals, whey hydrolysis can be consumed any time of the day. But many people take whey hydrolysis both pre- and post-workout. Consuming whey pre-workout ensures that an adequate supply of amino acids will be present in the bloodstream during your workout. Might it upset your stomach? It's unlikely. Whey hydrolysis is easily digested and easy for your gut as a result. Consuming whey protein hydrolysis post-workout allows you to jumpstart recovery by maximizing the anabolic response to exercise and increasing protein synthesis. In fact, some research has shown that whey hydrolysis can augment the growth response to weight training sessions, reduce body fat and recovery time, and reduce muscle soreness. I recommend looking for a product that contains an extensively hydrolyzed whey protein of at least a 15 degree of hydrolysis. My study used a 32 degree, derived from an 80% whey protein concentrate, which is about as high as you'll want to go because the bitterness simply becomes, well, disgusting. If you want fewer carbs and less fat, then choose a hydrolysis derived from an isolate or an 80% concentrate of whey as a starting material. If you want smaller peptides, go with a 20 to 32 degree of hydrolysis. Though some people are allergic to whey, it's not nearly as prevalent as it is with casein, soy, or wheat protein. In fact, even those who might otherwise experience upset stomach, pain, diarrhea, vomiting, or other GI distress arising from a dairy allergy have been shown to have no significant adverse events from an extensively hydrolyzed whey, predominantly of low molecular weight peptides. If you've been advised by your physician not to consume this product due to a health condition, then by all means, don't use it. While most people tolerate whey protein hydrolysis very well, those with very severe allergies to whey should use caution. Whey protein hydrolysis is an extremely high quality protein that has a myriad of bodybuilding and health related benefits. I hope this video has helped you better understand whey protein and its uses and benefits. So what are you waiting for? Pick up some whey protein hydrolysis here at bodybuilding.com. Bodybuilding.com, translating supplement science into real results.